If you currently pay for a contracting platform, I'm gonna show you how you can replace it with GoHotLink. I've used heaps of contracting platforms in my time and they all have one thing in common and that's that they're overpriced and they're clunky. But I found a way to deliver contracts in a seamless way that my clients now use every single day. Back when I was online fitness coaching, I had been a couple of weeks in and I signed one of my first clients. Now I was super excited, so I got programming for her right away. It was a Friday night and I had all of the work done. It probably took me about three or four hours. She sent me a message later that night, which made my heart sink like a lead balloon saying that she wanted a refund. Followed that, she said, I've read the contract and I see that there's no refunds available once the contract's been signed, but she was wondering if there was anything I could do. Now I was working on commission and every single client that I retained is more money that I could feed my family with. And it hit me like a lightning bolt. I'd finally nailed the sales call. I'd finally nailed the process of getting them set up. And I stayed up all night on a Friday programming for her just for her to want to cancel. And it was because her boyfriend said it wasn't worth it. I called the business owner immediately and told him exactly what happened. And he just calmly said over the phone, this is why we have contracts. After that, I valued the importance of contracts over and over again. With my clients, I always stress that they have them in there so they don't get into a bit of a rut when someone wants to cancel or get a refund. They need something to stand on. Firstly, if you don't have a contract, this isn't legal advice, but if you go to chat GPT and give it your requirements, it will give you a contract if you ask it nicely. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into Go High Level and I'm gonna walk through exactly what you need to do to set it up. So what we're going to do first is go into sites and then forms. We need to create a form that can actually house our ability to sign. So, so Go High Level natively doesn't have a signature form. However, if you go in and add a custom field, you can add the signature option as the custom field. So this is what it's gonna look like. I've just added the full name and signature. So if we have a look here on the left side and we go add form element, I've just added full name, this one here. And if you go into custom fields, and on the left hand side, go down to add custom fields, you can go and select signature down here and then press next. And then you can call it signature or whatever you want to call it. Um, and then you can drag it across. So it'll look like this once you've dragged it across. It's already in there, so I can't add it twice. And then we just add a submit button. That's all you need for the form. It's very simple. And we are gonna go back and then we're gonna actually create a funnel. Now, the reason I put it inside a funnel is it makes it so easy for the person using it to send out contracts to people. Because it just captures their name and their signature, you can send a link to someone and they can fill out the contract. There's no customizing the name, whatever. You just send it off to the person, so long as it's the same contract that you use across multiple people. And if it isn't the same contract you use multi across multiple offers, then you can just have different forms and different web pages for different contracts. So once we are back inside sites, we're gonna go into funnels and I'm going to show you how I would build a signature funnel. So we're just gonna create a new one and call it signature and press create. Once we are inside, we're going to add a new step. I'm just gonna call it signature and contract in the name for the page and the path. We're gonna go create from blank. As a bit of a nicety for my clients, I add in their logo at the top. So it's a customized contracting form that looks very professional and it's very good for them to use. So I just add an image at the top here, see if I can use mine. So I've got knock on automation here. Of course you can change the size of that and everything. And then below we're just gonna add a new text box with one column and then we are going to add in a paragraph. Now we're gonna delete the wording in here but we're gonna add in our sample contract now. So I'm just gonna paste that in here and I'm going to get rid of the initial part. Now to make this look a bit more professional, there's a couple of little edit editing things that you can do. So make sure all the text is looking nice. Now, I usually put it to the side and then I will space out the different requirements of the contract. And if we just delete the bottom part here, cause we don't need that. And then below it, we're gonna add in our form. So it's just one column. And then we're gonna add element and then the form. And now we're gonna find our signature form which is going to look just like this. So now when the client receives this contract, it's going to put the signature against their name. So once they fill out their full name, you can add phone number and email into that contract as well. Uh, it will just tie that information to the contact inside Go High Level. So they kind of need to have already been in your Go High Level. If not, this will add them in for the first time, which is better than nothing, but it's always better to have them in beforehand. And it just puts that signature against them. However, when they fill this out, you need a way that you can see this signature in a neat and orderly way, so that if you ever need to reference them, you can go back and do that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send an email to both the client and you or the, your client when this is filled out that has the contract in it. But you need to be a little bit crafty and we're gonna use email templates to do it. So we're gonna go to marketing on the left-hand side and then we are going to go to templates and we are going to add a template. We're going to call it signature contract. And then we're going to actually paste our contract into here. You can add your client's name to the top. So it can be dear 
and then you can put in the full name of the contact. And now at the bottom here, we are going to just put in the custom value of the signature. So the contact signature now will appear at the bottom and we're also gonna put their full name and we're just going to say signed full name. And if we press save, we will have that there. Now that we have a template, we just need an automation that runs every single time that is filled out. So I'm gonna walk through how to set that up now. So once we have our signature automation open, there's a couple of things that we need to do. There's three parts. The first one is just change the trigger to form submitted. So we just need to make sure it's the signature form here. Uh, so when that signature is signed, it actually will send an internal notification and it will send an email. So that internal notification is an email to you that you can then set up on your emails to have a, a rule that sends all of your new signed contracts into to a specific folder that you can access nice and easy. And then the second one is an email to the client so that they get a contract and a signed copy of their contract to ensure that they understand the terms and conditions as well. Now, if we quickly backtrack and have a look at what this contract looks like, I think it looks fine. It looks pretty good. Again, you can tailor this and make it smaller and larger and whatever suits your needs or your client's needs, it's totally fine. I think replacing as many platforms as you can with Go High Level really helps you get your value out of the monthly cost. I hope you found this valuable, but if you wanted to skip the entire setup and just take the snapshot and implement it into yours or your client's businesses straight away, you can access it through the free course below. Uh, it's in, under the resources section. Also, this is my new backdrop. I now film things in my garage. There you go, needed more space. Bye.